हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आई एग्जाम बी मैं हूं अरुणिमा और इस वीडियो में हम नाबार्ड ग्रेड ए 2017 में क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड में जो क्वेश्चंस आए थे उनको डिस्कस करेंगे क्योंकि ये क्वेश्चंस मेमोरी बेस्ड हैं क्वेश्चंस में कुछ वेरिएशंस हो सकते हैं सो so, इससे हमें दो फायदे होंगे पहला तो लास्ट ईयर किस तरह का क्वेश्चन आया था लेवल का क्या क्वेश्चन था हमें उसका थोड़ा आइडिया मिलेगा और दूसरा हमें यह भी पता चलेगा कि एग्जाम में हम क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड के क्वेश्चंस किस तरह से सॉल्व करें ताकि हम कम समय में उन्हें अक्यूरेटली सॉल्व कर पाए सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन क्वेश्चंस सो दिस वाज द डेटा गिवन टेबुलर चार्ट एंड इट सेज स्टडी द टेबल एंड आंसर द गिवन क्वेश्चंस सो फाइव क्वेश्चंस वर बेस्ड ऑन दिस टेबल नंबर ऑफ परफ्यूम बॉटल्स सोल्ड बाई फाइव स्टोर ड्यूरिंग फाइव मंथ्स सो दीज आर मंथ्स मार्च अप्रैल मे जून जुलाई एंड दीज आर फाइव स्टोर ए बी सी डी एंड डी दीज आर नंबर ऑफ बॉटल्स ओके सो नाउ लेट सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टोटल नंबर ऑफ परफ्यूम बॉटल्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ परफ्यूम बॉटल सोल्ड बाय स्टोर ए एंड बी टुगेदर इन मार्च एंड टोटल नंबर ऑफ परफ्यूम बॉटल सोल्ड बाय स्टोर डी एंड ई इन अप्रिल सो वी शुड फोकस ऑन स्टोर ए एंड बी इन मार्च सो स्टोर ए एंड बी इन मार्च सो बॉटल सोल्ड बाय स्टोर ए एंड बी इन मार्च 142 फोर्टी टू प्लस वन एंड देन परफ्यूम बॉटल सोल्ड बाय स्टोर डी एंड ई इन अप्रिल so d and e in april so 98 and 131 so we need to add these two and these two and then find the difference here we can see if we add 100 to 131 it would be 231 it is always easier to add 100 to any number so 131 plus 100 is 231 but since it is 98 we'll subtract 2 so it would be 229 isn't it so it is 229 now here 142 176 so one way if it is 140 and 170 it would be so 14 plus 17 is 31 so it is 310 and 2 plus 6 is 8 so 318 now we have to find the difference between 318 and 229 so 18 minus 9 is 9 0 that means 10 minus 2 is 8 and then 2 minus 2 is 0 so answer would be 89 so i think this is a very easy question but you need to focus on the data whether it is being asked about a or b or c or d or e you should be very careful now let us see the next question here it says What is the respective ratio between total number of perfume bottles sold by store A and B together? Again, it is talking about A and B together in June. So A and B in June. This is total 155 plus 151, and total number of perfume bottles sold by stores D and E in the same month. So D and E in the same month. Respective ratio. So here, very easy. 150, 150 is 300. And five plus one six, so it is three hundred six. A and B, and then again one thirty seven plus hundred. If we add it by hundred, it would be two thirty seven. But since it is ninety seven, we'll subtract three. Two thirty seven minus three, two thirty four. So it is two thirty four. Now we can see six plus three nine, four plus three seven plus two nine. So sum of these three digits is nine. Sum of these three digits is nine. That means Uh, both the numbers are divided by 9 so here it is 9 threes are 27 and 9 fours are 36 here 9 twos are 18 9 sixes are 54 again here it is 2 17 twos are 34 and here 13 twos are 26 so it would be 17 is to 13 17 is to 13 first will be your answer here the question says Total number of perfume bottles sold by store D and E in August was 16% more than the total number of perfume bottles sold by the same stores together in July. So here we can see that we don't have any data for August. 
but we have data for July. So it says that by D and E, D and E in July, it was sold 121 plus 104 bottles. And in August, it was 16% more than uh, what it sold in D and E. What was the total number of perfume bottles sold by stores D and E together in August? So we know that store D and E sold 121 plus 104 bottles in July. Now, in August, we have the information in the question that it was 16% more. So first we have to add that. So 100, 100, 200, 225. So in July, D and E sold 225 bottles and 16% more would be 116% because we know that when anything increases by 10%, it becomes 110% of itself. So here it is increasing by 16%. So it will become 116% of itself. So one way is to solve it. You uh, will do it 225 into 116 upon 100 and then you can solve 25 nines are and 25 fours are and here 4 twos are 8 and 3 6 4 nines are 29 29 into 9 so if you want to do it in your mind you want to do the calculation in your mind uh, you should know that whenever you need to multiply any number by 9 simply multiply the number by 10 so multiplying any number by 10 is really easy so 290 29 into 10 is 290. So what we did here, we multiplied 29 by 10 instead of 9. But we need to multiply it by 9. So we have to subtract 29 into 1. So we'll subtract by 29. Then 1, it would be 261. So similarly, if you need to multiply any number by 100, simply put two zeros. Suppose you have to multiply 848 into 99 okay so first you multiply 848 by 100 that would be 84800 that means simply put two zeros after 848 and then subtract 848 so why we are subtracting 848 because 848 is 848 into 1 so this is in 200 and this is into 1 so now we'll get the answer 10 minus 8 is 2, 9 minus 4 is 5, 7 minus 8 is 9, and 3 and 8. So this was just a, just a trick. Uh, whenever you need to multiply any number by 9, put a 0 and uh, minus the number. If you need to multiply it by 10, put a 0 and minus the same number like that if you need to multiply it by 99 you can do like this if you need to multiply any number by 999 multiply the number by thousand that means put three zeros there so that way you can calculate it easily so here your answer is 261 next here again what is the average number of perfume bottles sold by store c in april june july so store c april June, July. You should be very careful. Otherwise, what you will do, you, you can add, if you don't see it carefully, you will add these three. 134 plus 104 and 113. Sometimes these kinds of mistakes happen. So be very careful. Now we need to find the average. So quickly we'll add 9, 3, 12 plus 4, 6, 4, 5, 3, 1, 2, 3, 336 and 3 months are there So, and we need to find the average so divided by 3 so 1, 1, 2, 112 would be your answer. So you can see that questions are not very difficult only thing we need to be composed and we can actually answer all our questions correctly. So let us see the last one. Number of perfumes bottles sold by store E in March is what percent? Number of perfumes bottles sold by store E in March, that means 74, is what percent less than the number of perfume bottles sold by store B in May? So store B in May, that means 180. So here the question is, 74 is what percent less than the number of uh, 74 is what percent less than 180? 
isn't it because we have put the value here so now our question is 74 is what percent less than 180 now if the question is 74 is how much less than 180 so we'll simply subtract so our answer would be 106 but here percent is asked so 106 upon here yet most of you always get confused whether it should be 180 or 74 into 100 so here always remember that whatever number is coming after less than or more than will be the denominator here so here after less than 180 is coming so here it would be like this 180 106 upon 180 into 100 so now we'll solve it 00, zero cancelled and it is two fives are and two nines are if it is nine ones are and one six approximately it is 12 so 12 fives are 60 it is less than 12 approximate uh, 12 is the approximate value so here in the question it must be approximate because none of these answer is not there so nearest value would be 54 8 so our answer would be 58 so these were uh, data interpretation questions which you could see that they were really really easy let us see some approximation questions also so here the direction says what approximate value should come in place of the question mark in the following questions you are not expected to calculate the exact value so here these are approximation questions we need not find the exact value so here it is 289.19 if we know that 289 is a square of 17, so if we know that 289 is 17 ka square, this question is very easy. If we don't know, then we will waste a lot of time here. That's why you need to remember squares to 1 to 120, or the tricks you need to know. Which are related to our iExambi channel, which are related to videos, which you can master it by watching. So this is 17. We'll ignore this 0.19 because it is approximation question. And here it is 2.08. Again, we'll uh, ignore this 0 0.08 divided by 10.97. So 17 into 2, here itself we can write it is 34 divided by 10.97. So we can write it 11. So it would be 11 threes. Approximately, our answer would be 3. Second option. Next question, it says 1884 divided by 144.89 and then 6.99 plus question mark square is equal to 69.09. So we need to divide it by 144. So here itself we can do this. Uh, either we should divide it by 144 or we can take it 145 also. So 145, one's are 145. So here 3 and 4 and 434. Now, again, 145 3za is approximately 434 because 153 za is 15 3za 45, 450. 153 za is 450. So 144 3 za we can take. So here it was 1 and 3. So approximately 180, 1884 divided by 145 would be 13 plus 6.99 is approximately 7. So 13 plus 7. Now we need to find this. So this x square would be 69 and this is 20 minus 20. So approximately the value would be 9 minus 0, 9, 6 minus 2, 4. No, but here we it is x square. So what will be the value of x? It would be x would be under root 49. So answer would be 7 actually. Let us see the next one. So here in the question number 1, it is under root 12,000. So we know that. 11 square is 121, but it is an approximation question. So we can take it 11 and 20. So it is 110 into 34.98. We can take is 35 plus 150. Now we know that whenever we need to multiply any two digit number, it would be actually we need to add these three two. Uh, we need to add these two digits and right in between so 35 into 11 would be 385 isn't it 
So suppose you need to multiply 27 by 11, it would be 297. From where this 9 came? Sum of these two digits. Suppose it is like uh, 85 into 11. Now 8 plus 5 is 13. So we'll not write 13 in between. We'll write 5. And instead of 13, we'll write 3 and carry 1 and 9. So it would be 935. So we can apply this uh, trick to save some time. So it would be 385 and this 0 plus 150. You need not to do in so many steps. Here itself, you can actually do it. So it would be 0, 850 plus 150, 1000. So it would be 4000. Your answer would be 4000 for this question. Let us see the next one. So question number four. So if you have learned cubes and cube roots, you must be knowing that 12 cube is 1728. So actually, if you are preparing for such exams, uh, it is expected that you should know all these squares and cubes plus 1.2 square. That means 1.44. 12 square is 144 plus 1.02 to the power 1. So it is 1 plus to the power 0. So any any number, if it, it is to the power 0, it is 1 actually. So now if we add these numbers, 1728, 1.44 and 1 and 1. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 3, 7 and 1. Answer would be 1731. Approximately 1731 would be your answer. So these were uh, data interpretation and approximation questions. And I would say that if I compare these questions with other banking exams, these are really, really easy. So now we have got an idea of the difficulty level of the questions. I won't say that this year will be the same hoga, But uh, at least you have got an idea and uh, you should be confident enough that if you are able to calculate accurately, you are going to solve uh, mathematics questions accurately. So I would like to remind you once again that our I exam is site pe www.ixambee.com pe sare banking and SSC related exams se uh, ke mock tests free uplabd hain. So, Nabad ke bhi mock tests bhi hain. Agar aap Nabad ke exam mein appear ho rahe hain, to jarur in mock tests ko aap attempt kare. Or I would suggest ki har din aap ek mock test jarur attempt kare aur usko analyze kare. Abhi, abhi bhi one week is there for your final exam. So, ek hafte mein aap kaafi fark mahsus kar sakte hain. So, thank you friends. Thanks for watching.